Hello and welcome to part 19 of the mandolin building series. There is a reason why my mandolin is hanging from the ceiling and that is there's one last thing missing before I have a finished uh, instrument and that is a couple of layers and uh, coats of paint. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to paint the mandolin. I put this little hook in the um, a place where the tail end of the mandolin normally goes and this allows me to just hang it at this hook that we have here in our living room and uh, to let it really nicely dry. I have three different kinds of leather dye that I'm going to use and I'm going to dilute them with a little bit of alcohol uh, to make them lighter. And so my first step is going to be to use a very light uh, color. I have a, a, um, a tan kind of uh, lightish brown that I'm going to dilute with a lot of alcohol and that is going to be used to just see where there are places that are not rough uh, that are not smooth yet so that I can sand them again and then I'm going to apply another uh, coat a layer of paint Okay, so that's it. The first layer of uh, paint has been applied. As you can see, it starts drying here in the, uh, on the back already and you can see this really awesome uh, flamed uh, maple right here. Um, all those different grain directions. Um, I'm just going to hang this now uh, from the ceiling for a while to let it dry and then I am going to see where I have to uh, re-sand. Um, I spotted a couple of places, not that many. I think um, here in the back, for example, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there are some spots where I want to uh, sand again, but overall it looks pretty good. I've been applying the first uh, two layers of uh, dark brown, uh, medium brown now. So what you start to see is a kind of uh, emphasis on the curvatures here and the middle and center parts are stay, uh, stay uh, much lighter. So this here uh, is kind of the sunburst effect um, with uh, the grain um, coming out. It's not coming out as much as I want it to come out yet, but I'm going to apply a couple of more um, uh, layers of course. Um, also here uh, on the neck you can see the same uh, curvatures are darker and straight parts uh, are a little bit lighter. Um, I added a little bit more of the color to the mix that I have, so to lessen the amount of alcohol or the, the ratio between color and alcohol um, to make it even darker. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to progressively um, start to get uh, darker and darker while keeping the middle uh, fairly light to get a good contrast to focus on the curvatures and thereby creating this really cool um, sense of depth. That's where I'm at right now. Um, I applied the last layer of dark brown and so now we're really getting, we're really getting super close to a uh, final product. Um, you can see the tone differences here um, are much nicer worked out now. Um, there's still a couple of places, especially down here where I need to work. Uh, but now I'm going to do the very last uh, color, which is um, a dark brown, a really dark brown um, that is going to be the final color to really um, cover up, the, to really emphasize the curves and all the nice uh, parts that want to be emphasized and dark. Once I'm done with that, um, I am going to go ahead and uh, put lacquer on uh, and so to um, protect the whole um, cover from uh, the whole paint uh, from any damages uh, or influences. The last thing I'm going to show to you today, show you today is the final product um, and then uh, in another video I'm doing the final setup and the final sound adjustment. Okay, let's get back to work. And so this is the final product. It took me much longer than I thought it would uh, because I had underestimated the amount of time that a lacquer needs to dry before I can apply the next coat. 
um, and I technically would have to do one last sanding before I polish it um, and I probably will do that in the US but I'm happy where it is right now and I will give it some time um, to, um, to completely rest before I do the final sanding um, but otherwise I am done with the melon it is so cool it is I, I really like the color that it has um, how the color changes towards the middle and from the sides I like the glossy kind of touch that it has with the lacquer now so I'm really really happy with where I'm at right now so the very last video that I'm going to put out there which is probably coming tomorrow is the very first song that I'm going to play on that mandolin and then we're done with that project I am really 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 thankful and amazed by how smoothly um, this whole thing worked out that I'm here right now and it's it's just an amazing feeling I'm really excited to put everything back together and get some sounds of it. Thank you for following this series I hope there's uh, more cool stuff like this coming. I'm thinking about changing the vlog a little bit to kind of these project um, things um, So thanks uh, for for being here Definitely make sure to subscribe to not miss anything that is coming in the future. Enjoy your day and see you soon. And that's my girlfriend who wants to wave.